early on in this training series, and so I want to make this one point clear so there'll be no confusion. On the cars we work on these days, there's lots of wires and lots of colors, and it seems like every OEM has come up with their own color scheme. We only need this is when we're actually going to back probe to actually test a component. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how to understand how the circuit works. So, we don't need this. What we need is this, colors. There's only five colors that we need to know to know how any diagram works. You can't understand what's wrong with the circuit until you understand how it's supposed to work in the first place. So use color. From reading the comments, it appears that some have had trouble printing out the diagram. So here's what seems to work best. I can post the videos on YouTube, but I can't post the diagrams there. But on my website, I can post them both. So if you go to the website and look for the training series and look for each one of these lessons, the video will be there and so will the diagram. Print the diagram out. It'll be in a JPEG format. Save it to your computer, print it out, and then make your attempt to try and color code it. Then watch the video. As you're trying to color it yourself, you'll probably have some questions. And hopefully in the video, we'll answer those questions. Once you know how the diagram is supposed to work, then you can go looking for your evidence as to why it's not working. Now think about this. The power probe is a very commonly used tool in electrical diagnostics on vehicles. It has a multimeter so that we can read voltage, but it only has two color lights. It has red to indicate the power side, and it has green to indicate the ground side. And with that, we can diagnose most problems on a vehicle. 